Disability History, Panel 17, 1978-1985. through 1985. Self-Advocacy Persons with developmental disabilities advocate for themselves and others with disabilities, proclaiming, We are people first. Responses to Disability Increased employment and educational opportunities Greater inclusion of people with disabilities in the community Societal values Self-determination and freedom of choice Celebration of diversity Social Viewpoint One way that self-advocates have redefined the disability problem is through reclaiming the language used to describe them. If disability is important in describing someone, it should be secondary to the person. Rather than disabled people, self-advocates prefer people with disabilities. Better yet, don't mention the disability at all unless it's relevant to the situation. Social Viewpoint Some self-advocates have objected to the Special Olympics and its method of treating people with disabilities as eternal children and objects of pity. For many, the word special has come to mean different and less than. We are people first. Many self-advocacy groups call themselves people first in honor of this principle. Social Viewpoint Self-advocates in Minneapolis organized and picketed for the right to hold a union election at their workshop. Workers not only demonstrated their ability to speak for themselves, but also recognized the importance of economic justice. Many sheltered workers at this time were paid less than $1 per hour, with no vacation or sick leave. The workshop would not even let the workers vote on whether to have union representation, but through legislation, self-advocates did win $35,000 in back pay. Social Viewpoint Self-advocates affect change through helping others. Perry Whitico. Social Viewpoint An important goal in self-advocacy is closing institutions. Institutions remove all of the things worth living for. Joy, happiness, love, tenderness, feelings, emotions, and make you give up on life itself. As self-advocates, we must close down every institution and liberate our unfortunate brothers and sisters who are now wasting away. Connection to different time in history. There are still tens of thousands of people with disabilities in institutions and thousands more in nursing homes. Social Viewpoint Self-advocates in Connecticut held a press conference from within the Southbury Training School an institution they wanted to close. Three TV networks covered the event, and the show 60 Minutes later did an investigative report on Southbury. Social Viewpoint We have the right to participate in the community, attend our public schools, and grow up with other children. We must have the opportunity to do the same things as everyone else and to share the joys of daily living. Social Viewpoint Many self-advocacy groups serve a social function, bringing people with developmental disabilities together in an environment where they can speak openly with people they trust. Other groups have developed the sophistication and resources to take on large issues, like fighting for real health care for people with disabilities. We must be listened to as we express ourselves, and we must be allowed to make our own mistakes. We must help those who have higher support needs and cannot speak for themselves, so their decisions can be understood and respected. There are a thousand hacking at the branches of evil to one who is striking at the root. Henry David Thoreau